Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, I have something new and exciting for you. And I have been looking, I have been looking for something like this for a long time. So uh, any of you who are familiar with my reviews in the past, I've talked about different third-party Bluetooth keyboards and how um, they are all garbage. So this one is the first one that I've tried that I actually really like. Uh, it is $50 currently. It's made by Uogic. It is very different than the ones made by Uogic in, in the past and Arctech and uh, Finiti. I'm not sure how to say it. It's like F-I-N-I-T-E or um, that's finite, but something similar to that. Anyway, the other ones, I've tested almost all of them that I can find, and they all have these uh, really annoying problems. This one is brand new. It's about a month old, and it does not. So I'm going to go through what I really like about this and the things that are limitations and uh, things that you should be aware of. So first thing I want to talk about, just aesthetically, it looks like every other keyboard, nothing super fancy. It's got a very, very soft feel. Oops, I'm pressing things on the screen. It's got a very, very soft kind of uh, velvety feel to it. It feels really nice. The trackpad is nice and large and has your left and right click buttons uh, right here. So you can click them down or you can tap on the screen like you would with regular trackpad. This has um, backlight. So you won't be able to see that really well, but it has uh, seven different colors and you can adjust the brightness of those colors. So it's pretty standard in that way. Keys are nice and clicky. I don't have any problems with how they feel. It is magnetic, so it's going to attach to the surface and provide a screen protector while you're carrying it around. Actually something that I really appreciate because I don't want to scratch my screen and I did that with the last one, the last Surface Pro 7 Plus that I had. Okay, so here, uh, the, the things that, that in the past have really, really bothered me about this specific brand of keyboard, and all of them were, as far as I could tell, all of them were the same one, and then just rebranded. So it's the same manufacturers producing all of these, and are shipping it out to like six different companies that are selling it under their own name. That's my experience. So <clears throat> in the past, what I really didn't like the uh, first version, they had a, uh, I think it's a micro USB charger right here, and it was okay, um, not real great, kind of flimsy port. The second version of this uh, was USB-C, and it was a terrible port. Like, you could barely get it to hold the charge, like you'd plug the USB-C cable in, and it wouldn't stay, and it would disconnect, and that was a problem. Oh, no, the very first version was a proprietary one and it was magnetic and it sat right here. I think I actually might still have that one. Although I usually try and sell these with my computers if I sell in order to upgrade. <laughs> I'm like, hey, do you guys want a keyboard? Sure. So it had it had a proprietary magnetic one that sat on top and also was just not not a consistent connection, not easy. This one has um, the second or third iteration of this port with USB-C and it is finally a good clicky port. Um, when Renacer contacted me about this keyboard, there was a couple things that I had mentioned to them that were uh, big drawbacks and the reason I strongly disliked the previous versions of this keyboard, and one of them was the uh, USB-C port. And so they worked on it and improved it, and it was a very cool experience for me to be able to be part of that process with them. The other thing that drove me crazy and why I highly um, discourage people from buying one. I'm like, don't, don't do it. You're going to, you're going to get angry. You're going to have anger issues afterwards is there used to be uh, edge swipe gestures. I'm, I'm accidentally doing things here. Whoops. Uh Oh, Oh no. Whoops. <laughs> All right. You should not be in this picture. Okay, so what, what I, I hated is there was edge swipe gesture. So that means like you're typing and 
you're in the middle of a sentence and all of a sudden your cursor is somewhere else on the page, you're not typing and you're typing somewhere else or nothing's happening. It was so annoying because it was for all sorts of things that I wasn't trying to do. So currently there's gestures in the middle of the trackpad that are very, very standard, like three finger uh, swipe down is going to show your desktop, swipe up is going to open whatever app was just there and swiping left and right will move in between apps, like really normal stuff. I like those, those are fine. Pinch to zoom works, uh, two finger up and down works for scrolling, uh, two finger double tap or two finger tap for uh, right click, all that stuff works. But the edge swipe was what would drive me bonkers because it triggered all the time. And so um, I very politely and aggressively <laughs> requested that they turn those off with this version of the keyboard before they try and sell it. It's extremely adamant about it. And thankfully they listened. It is not in there. I was programming um, uh, an auto hotkey script that just completely disabled um, some of those gestures. And so there are certain things that just wouldn't work on my computer while I was trying to use the old version of this keyboard. Uh, this does not have that. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, now, it has an improved USB-C port, improved USB-C port, really nice and soft, nice big trackpad, does not have the annoying gestures, keys are nice and clicky, they're backlit, you have seven different colors, you can adjust the brightness of those colors, it is magnetic, it does not charge this way, so keep in mind, it won't connect to your computer, your Service Pro, all of those things are improved, uh, pairing stays paired really nicely, doesn't disconnect really have not had any big problems with any of those things. Giant improvement, and it's not $130 like the default non-Bluetooth version of the uh, Surface default keyboard, the Microsoft keyboard. And I have my, I have my uh, Surface Pro 7 on a tablet holder, you can see right here, and it floats up higher so I don't have to lean uh, forwards so or my head down, my neck down. And so it's a comfortable height for me. You cannot do that without a Bluetooth keyboard. So this is a important add. So for the price, way better than anything else that I've tried before. I would um, definitely recommend don't go with anyone besides the link I have in the description because I don't know that any of the other ones have disabled the same things or have worked or improved the ports the same way that this one specifically has been uh, improved. Okay. Now, as far as things that I'm, that are uh, just things to be aware of, I part of me wants to say that there is that it's a problem, but it's not. It's, it's actually a feature. So what they do on this one is when you're typing, it just turns off the trackpad for you. And you can go back and forth. It's not funky. I used to have um, it was like function key and space would disable the trackpad and I would type, I'd get annoyed. So I'd turn off the trackpad, I would type some more, then I'd try and use the trackpad and it wasn't working. So I, then I'd have to re-enable the trackpad. You can actually still enable and disable the trackpad with this button right up here, but you don't need to. Now, here's the caveat. That fixes the typing experience for me. I have to go back and forth between the two. Really is not a problem. I don't notice it with one specific scenario as an exception. So if I'm in a design program and I'm trying to press Alt and drag the trackpad, well, that's a trackpad or that's a mouse movement and disabled mouse movement and a key press, which doesn't work. Now, what you can do is you can actually physically click the button right here and left and right click will still function while holding a key, but you have to click the trackpad, not tap it. And the second thing to note, since you can't drag the mouse because a key is being pressed, you can do something else. Now you would do this for color picking or for duplicating an object, uh, and you can still do it through a couple different ways. Um, way number one, there is a feature inside of Windows in the accessibility category. I'm using Windows 11. Uh, Actually, I can show you that real quickly. So uh, let's switch here. Oh, I'm not in the screen correctly. All right, so let's go right over here and 
right here, you can click accessibility and there's an option called sticky keys. You can search for this and that will let you go back and forth. Let's go here. Ooh, so lovely. I love this. Uh, Tablet Pro Artist Pad right over here. Okay, so um, you can do that or you can use the Tablet Pro Pen Tool, which this option right here, Sticky Modifiers, is coming out soon. And with this one, oh, you can see I didn't load this one correctly. It looks better than this normally. So Sticky Modifiers here, you can um, click on that. And then what happens is, is it will do almost the same thing, but you can program it to do it per program. That means it's off on everything except for uh, Affinity Designer or Illustrator or some program that you are using uh, the modifiers and the trackpad at the same time. So then you would tap Alt and then you would use the trackpad and it would work until you stop using the trackpad. It works really well. Uh, it really is not, to me, doesn't feel like a uh, worse use case or a more difficult one. It's sequential and super fast and really easy. Um, those are the options. <laughs> so both of them are fine. You can turn uh, sticky keys on the system on and off with five consecutive presses of the shift key, which is something you have to turn on. Um, when you find uh, sticky keys, it will have that option right next to it. All right, you guys. Right now, 50 bucks, Uogic keyboard, uh, use the link uh, I put in the description. It is an affiliate link, but I get like a dollar or two. It's really not a uh, big thing. Um, I may end up selling these on my website at some point, but I think I'm going to try and actually work out just a better deal with Uogic um, because it's, it's simpler and faster and it's all, all the way through Amazon, which means Prime members get free shipping and it's quick. All right, you guys, that's it. You at your keyboard, uh, my top choice for Bluetooth. I, do, I don't recommend anything else at all. Feel free to try it. If you've tried something else that works really well, put it in the comments section. And I'll look forward to reading what you guys write. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.